This is Web Broadcast Topic Review. I'm going to analyze services of the web and the definition of Web 2.0. As you can see, there's lots of services offered by the web. Let's see now what is the definition of Web 2.0. The web is defined as a user-generated platform, but what does user-generated platform mean? And why user-generated? Imagine the web as an infinite landscape. Today, services such as YouTube, Google Reader, Dix, Delicious are all linked together. YouTube is a user-generated content because users produce and upload their own videos. Dig is a user-generated filtering because users give good or bad opinion on content shared over other platforms. Delicious is a user-generated organization because help users to organize content based on assigned tags and make it easier for others to find it as well. Google Reader is a user-generated distribution because put together all information from different platforms all in one web page and it's easier for the user to reach those important ones. Technorati is a user-generated rating platform where the most viewed pages and website of the week or day are visualized. There was an experiment by Michael Wesch, professor at Kansas University, which consisted in uh, uploading a video about Web 2.0 on YouTube, uh, sharing that with Dig and Delicious, and try to get listed on the Technorati website. 
what is broadcast. Broadcast is everything what has to do with the transmission of audio and video to an audience. So, we talk about what is Web 2.0 and what is broadcasting. Let's try now to put these two words together. Web broadcasting is basically utilizing dynamically changing web platform with the aim of broadcasting live or recorded audio and video, which means utilizing the user generated Web 2.0 to deliver an image or a message from the broadcaster to the audience. Thank you all for watching. I hope you know now what is Web 2.0 broadcasting.